Hi, I'm Sister Lorraine Lauder, and I'm Executive Director of Water with Blessings, which is a nonprofit located now in Jefferson Town, Kentucky, on the edge of Louisville. And I just want to say greetings to the Lions of Kentucky, and congratulations on your first virtual or digital uh, convention. I know it's been a challenging year for everyone, or challenging now 15, 16 months, and we're all making it through it, through a lot of difficult times, and it's time to be figuring out how to come together one way or another and carry on. So again, welcome and congratulations. And I'm past council chair Lion David Moose, member of the Louisville East Lions Club. Happy to be sharing in this uh, virtual convention with my fellow Lions, and I'm happy to be here with Sister Lorraine since I've come to have a great appreciation for Water with Blessings and what they're doing around the world. And especially a special focus on the Philippines because in the Philippines we are collaborating with Lions Clubs there to train water women, which means that we put this filter device, here it is actually without its protective cover, we put this in the hands of mothers, Filipino mothers and mothers in 47 other countries, and they filter water for three other families as well. So that's, that's why you're a fan of this program, right? I have seen, and a few of my fellow lines have seen the demonstration, uh -huh. taking pond scum water and turning it into fresh drinking water, and I drank some. Well, and we're going to do that again today. Oh, we're going to do that again today. We'll but when everyone can get the full effect of this beautiful dirty water, uh, yeah. Right there, and that is a sample that we maintain from Floyd's Fork. And now we're going to take our filter and we're going to lower it because it works by gravity. And we see water coming out. And we can hear clean water coming out. And it's coming out at a pretty good rate. The uh, ideal rate for these filters um, is a five gallon bucket in about 25, 30 minutes. All right. Yeah, so if you could do that, that you could produce a lot of water. You could produce over 400 gallons in 24 hours if you like. Why don't you take that? Okay. We're going to uh, toast the lions. Get me a good sample here. And this water is now 99.99999% percent <laughs> pure. Almost. Completely. Well, it actually that well exceeds what the EPA says is safe. It well exceeds what they require for bottled water that you pay money for. Yeah. So here we are. Cheers. Cheers. A toast to the lions. Yeah. How's that? Water. Any taste? Any special taste you're noticing there? No, it just tastes like good water. It just tastes like good water. Partnership is a really important part of what Lions are doing now around the world. Uh, we're in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Carter Center, Special Olympics. I think Kentucky Lions could have a very special partnership yeah. with Water with Blessings, particularly uh, focusing on the Philippines where we have, I think, 380 Lions Clubs, mm -hmm. uh, many thousands of Lions Club members. I think it was over 12,000. Uh, like and uh, I understand from you that some of the Filipino Lions are already working with Water with Blessings. They are. I think we even have Lions Club members on our team. All right. So we have a really great team in the Philippines, and they go all over the Philippines. I don't know if you can see all these different little dots represent places where they have gone to do training of water women. And as part of that, while we're shipping them the filter, which I'm going to talk more about mm -hmm. too, the Sawyer Point One filter, all the attachment hardware, all of the training materials, our own training manuals that we publish, all kinds of things like that. We still have to get buckets, and buckets are really expensive to ship, so typically we try to find buckets in a country, in that country mm -hmm. itself. And in the Philippines, they actually use um, plastic jerry cans 
that actually you know, fit very nicely onto this. So in the pictures that people might see also in this video, they won't see an open bucket. They'll actually see okay. a blue jerry can that has our logo on it, and it, this same hardware fits onto that. And so the Lions Clubs have been buying those Good. and providing those, and they've also been helping with transportation for the team mm -hmm. and food for the team and lodging for the team. Uh, we sent them a, a tent, and sometimes they have to stay in the tent because there's no other place for mm -hmm. lodging out in these very, very remote places. And one of our uh, new logos in Lions is where there's a need, there's a lion. Um, oh, I like that. I'm thankful that there are so many lions in the Philippines. I want to encourage, in addition to this video, uh, I want to encourage Kentucky Lions to go to the Water With Blessings website and learn more and consider putting Water With Blessings in your budget, your personal giving budget, your Lions Club budget, or both. Mm -hmm. And I want you to consider this. Each time I donate blood, I possibly save three lives. Each time I donate $75 to Water With Blessings, I possibly save 20 lives. One water woman commits to providing clean water, not just for her own family, but also for three neighboring families. Mm -hmm. So that's an average of about 20 people from one $75 donation mm -hmm. that has provided the filter, the mm -hmm. training, the transportation. Tell us yes. a little bit more about the filter. The filter is a Sawyer Point One filter, and it's very, very highly rated. It's really the best in class. Uh, there are knockoffs that are cheaper, and we just don't go there because mm -hmm. children who are who are vulnerable to death by dirty water, they need the best we can give them. Absolutely. And it really has virtually a lifetime kind of um, of guarantee. It can. We know it can work well for many years. We have women whom we've tracked for over 10 years in Honduras, and they're using the same filter. Mm. It's based on kidney dialysis technology. Has a little cartridge in here that, this is a mock-up, looks something like this. And those are actually membrane hollow fibers. The water goes in the side and comes out the end. And then you're able to back flush it. And so that's why this one filter We've run many, many, many gallons of Floyd's Fork, all muddy and dirty, through this filter. And then we show people, we can back flush it, we can show them now. And um, the dirt's going to come out. You want to show that? Okay. So we have a syringe full of water that we filtered that was in this jar, just like what mm -hmm. Lion David and I just drank. And now we're going to fit this onto the end. We've disconnected it, and we're going to push the dirty water back out through. And we do that until the water looks clear and clean. And we teach the women to do this every day. So when I look at this water here, this makes me think of something that our country coordinator said to me one time. He said, Sister Lorraine, if you saw the water I've seen, and this brings tears to his eyes. Mm -hmm. He said, if you saw the water I've seen you wouldn't want to wash your feet in that water, let alone drink it. Yeah. And he said, I never understood what it was to um, not have clean water until my friends took me to these places. And I think of that, you know, when I look at this map of the Philippines and think how many, many, many children, there must be millions of children there who are faced with water like this. You know? yeah. And maybe they're able to filter it through a t-shirt but that's not going to get out bacteria. It's just going to get out the big stuff that we're stirring up here for dramatic effect. And um, really, we, with this, we have gotten out the bacteria as well. And we can tell that just in the way it tasted. Mm -hmm. I've drunk water from this filter, from ponds that cows were standing in, <laughs> from Lake Erie dipped out next to a dead fish, Yuck. from a puddle in the streets, and I have never, ever gotten sick. And our team members will tell you they have sometimes drunk water from dirty sources because they do it at the end of every training. So multiple times a day, some of them for years. And they've never gotten sick. 
And that means that water is not just getting out the mud, that water is getting out the bacteria. There's no germs left. Of course, we're known universally, yes. primarily for vision care. Internationally, we're also focused on hunger, the environment, childhood cancer, diabetes, mm -hmm. and every local club chooses its own service projects. But uh, internationally, I see great potential in our mm -hmm. partnership mm -hmm. because lines are in over uh, 200 countries already. Yes. And it's a very easy collaboration mm -hmm. as uh, Water with Blessings expands into uh, additional areas of need. That's right. And you know, we have a strategic plan, and as one of our advocates, I know that you know the strategic plan. What's the strategic plan, David? Training 100,000 water women a year, which means millions and millions of people, of children mm -hmm. and adults, having clean drinking water. That's right. Which we take for granted mm -hmm. so easily, and we waste so much water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just hard for us to imagine how desperately mm -hmm. people in other countries need clean water. And the only way we can hit that goal, which our goal is to do that by the year 2030, the only way we can do that is by partnerships. Right. We're like the Lions. We right. are very keen on partnerships. They have gotten us to where we are to this, to this point mm -hmm. now. And so we want to leap from that capacity of 30,000 a year to 100,000 a year, and at that point, that's another over a million and a half people drinking clean water a year. Yep. And then we're really making an impact. We're really touching the lives of every child that we can possibly get to. I think you'll get there. I think we'll get there too, thank you. Good. With people like you, with people like the Lions, I know we can. So Water with Blessings, we've been around in one form or another since 2008. We actually incorporated in 2011, so 2021 is our 10 year anniversary in October. But we started in 2008 with 10 women and now pre-COVID we were up to training around 30,000 women a year. Last year of course with COVID we had to stop for a while. Uh, we had to take care of our teams while they were stopped too. Uh, of course, they're in much more vulnerable situations than we are, being in places like Haiti, Honduras, the Philippines, whatever. But everybody's pretty much up and running. And um, we've actually had a very good year because we have a great base of donors. And yet we can never have too much in the way of help because there are millions and millions of children out there who are sick and dying as we speak. It's, at, it's estimated about every eight seconds a child under age five dies because of dirty water. And that's the number one reason that children under age five die. 90% of children who are under age five die for a very simple reason, which is dirty water. And most of that is just run of the mill E. coli. So we know that with this tool, we can put this into the hands of mothers and they can use this tool because it's so powerful and so reliable and lasts for so long, they can multiply with their own strength and their own generosity, everyone else's generosity to them. And so they're filtering for many more people, saving many more children, elders as well. Those you know, elders are very, very vulnerable as well. And that's really the strength. That's our hidden secret at Water With Blessings is those mothers who are going to take care of their children. When I became a lion, I really didn't know who the lions were or what they did. 52 years later, I think I have a pretty good idea and the reason I'm still a lion is because being a lion allows me to serve people I would never know about otherwise. It extends the outreach of my good intentions. It helps me know the truth of Helen Keller's statement, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I'm thankful to be now a part of Kentucky Lions and thankful to share these moments with you. Lines carry on. <laughs>